kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church learning learn all about Jesus a kids church kids church kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church growing closer to Jesus a kids church Kids Church Kids Church Wow, look at all this stuff. Oh, hi everybody. Welcome to Kids Church, where it's all about Jesus and you and me and all of us actually. Have you ever seen these things? I wonder what they are doing here. Well, anyway, today's Kids Church is about following Jesus and the story of how Jesus called his first followers. They are known as his first disciples. Soon we will begin with the Bible reading and then have a song and then we'll have a fun Bible lesson from Ms. Dawson. After that, we'll have another song and then a quick question for you. And finally, we'll finish with Pierre in a little, little video. Thank you for visiting us. Remember, the more we know about Jesus, the better. So until next week, God's blessings. Bye. Here's the reading. A reading from the book of Luke. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, with the people crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats, left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep waters, and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So they pulled their boats up to shore, left everything, and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. And now, music. Sure. 
Here's the lesson. Oh, hi kids. I'm getting my fishing gear ready for springtime. Have you ever been fishing? Have you gone fishing out in a boat? Did you catch anything? Our son has a big boat and he goes way out in the ocean to catch tuna. Have you ever seen a tuna? They're huge! He uses a big fishing pole with a big hook and sometimes it takes hours just to get one fish into the boat. I don't usually do very well fishing. In fact, most fishing trips, all I catch is some sunburn and a lot of seaweed. Not everyone uses poles to fish. Instead, some use big nets that they hang over the side of the boat. It's too dark in the water for the fish to see the net, and they swim right in and they get trapped. And the fishermen pull the net up and remove the fish. Fishermen have an important job. People all over the world really depend on them to pull in a lot of fish every day and bring the fish back for food. In today's lesson, some fishermen had been out fishing all night long and they hadn't caught a thing. It was a disappointing night of hard work. They were probably very tired and just wanted to go home and get some sleep. Their two boats sat in the shallow water while the men cleaned their nets. Jesus was teaching along the shore. The crowds were getting larger and pressing closer, wanting to hear what Jesus was saying. So Jesus stepped into one of the boats that was owned by a man named Simon, and he asked Simon to take his boat out a little further. Jesus then sat down and began to teach the crowd that was standing on the shore. When Jesus was done speaking, he told Simon to go out into deeper water. He said if they all put their nets down, they would catch some fish. Simon said, we were working hard all night and caught nothing at all. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets. Simon was being respectful to Jesus, who was a great teacher. So they went out into the deeper water and put down their nets, and suddenly the nets were full of fish. Simon had to call his friends in the second boat to come help him. There were so many fish, their nets began to break, and the fish filled both boats, and they almost sank. The fishermen knew something amazing had happened. This was a miracle. Simon realized that Jesus was someone very special, and he bowed down before Jesus and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. But Jesus told him not to be afraid. From now on, you'll be catching people. The Bible says the men brought their boats to shore. They left everything and followed Jesus. Catching people? They're going to need really big nets to catch people. And where do you go to catch people? Is it okay to catch people? Actually, they weren't going to be fishing for people. They weren't going to be catching people with nets at all. Instead of going out to catch fish every day, they were going to go out and help bring people to God. The fishermen's names were Simon, Andrew, James, and John. They were the first four disciples that Jesus chose. They were called by Jesus to help proclaim the good news of God's promised salvation. Jesus' disciples were called to fish for the hearts of people and bring them to God. But being called wasn't an easy new life. Can you imagine leaving everything you have to follow Jesus? The fishermen not only left their fish in their boat, they also left their homes and families. They just knew Jesus was amazing. He was surely from God, and they had just had to share God's love with others. 
What about us? Can we be fishers of men? Of course. But how can we tell others about Jesus? Well, you can invite your friends to watch Kids Church with you or come to church itself with you. Or you can tell someone about how much Jesus loves us and how he died to save us from our sins. This is wonderful news. Don't keep it to yourself. Get out there and get fishing. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, help us to be fishers of men and tell other people about your love for us. Help us to be more like Simon and do the things you tell us to do. Help us to remember that you always take care of us. In your name we pray. Amen. everybody. Quick question here. Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch. Don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch. You see, Simon was a fisherman. But Jesus said, from now on, you will catch. Does anybody remember what Jesus said? Well, Jesus said, don't be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. Did you know that? Now, where's Pierre now? Can anybody tell me where's Pierre? He's in the atrium, coming up the steps. Church in the arms of Jesus, kids church, walking with the Lord, kids church, learn learn more about Jesus, a kids church, kids church, kids church in the arms of Jesus, kids church, walking with the Lord, 
Kids Church, growing closer to Jesus at Kids Church, Kids Church, Kids Church.